Hey, what is up guys? So everyone's been asking where is that Monarch deck profile? Well guys, I've been doing a lot of testing and I figured out the build that I like personally the most. This one's going to outspeed the other Monarch decks and in addition to that, it's going to have a much better perform pal matchup. Uh, because the Performer Pal Mages, that deck is actually really, really strong. But this deck can actually combat it because that deck will usually give you like one to two turns to do anything, and then it will completely outspeed you because it's just going to have so much advantage uh, through that. But uh, it usually takes like one to two turns before they can really do anything. Uh, but uh, anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile, and then I'll explain the choices as we go along. This deck is absolute crazy, though, the, especially this version with the Rituals and the Miracle Synchro Fusions. Man, you're able to actually pop three cards your opponent controls, add three cards from your deck to your hand, and basically destroy your opponent's extra deck, and you are setting yourself up for Miracle Synchro Fusion plays. Now I'll get into, like, this isn't the actual side deck, I just wanted to mention this card, because uh, originally I was playing this, but uh, I saw a few other people, well, actually, I learned this card from someone else, but there's another card that I think is much better, that uh, someone told me on the live stream, and then Trio, uh, Gaia Shreel over here, much better, and we'll explain why in just a moment. But anyways, let's go and jump into the profile, and then, um, I'll explain the choices. So we got one copy of BLS, two copies of Erebus, two copies of the Mega Caius, three copies of Zaborg. This is basically what makes the deck so good because you get to destroy your opponent's extra deck and you get to get rid of three cards. It's just absolutely crazy. And then we got uh, one copy of Aether, uh, two, uh, I'm sorry, three copies of Eidos and three copies of Idea. That's like staple. And then uh, we got two copies of Safra, Queen of Dragons, one one for one. 3 Pandiety, 3 Tenacity, 3 Miracle Synchro Fusions, 3 Traden, 3 Upstart, 1 Hymn of Light. I, I called the Hymen, I know. It's, it's Hymn of Light, apparently. Okay. 3 Hand Destruction. Don't worry about your going minus. You can, you can actually reestablish it later. We got 1 Monarch, some forth, and 1 Escalation of the Monarch. And then finally, 1 The Original Monarch, which I'm actually deciding... Uh, I'm debating right now on cutting this card. It does have its uses, but for the most part, uh, I don't like playing any of the uh, regular monarchs just because, like, it doesn't uh, give me draw power. Can't trade in the regular monarchs. If I could, I would do that. But uh, as far as the extra deck goes, we got one copy of Natrio Gaiastrio. We have Natrio Exterio, uh, three copies of Elder God NTSS, three copies of Cyframe Lord Omega. Uh, this card is going to let you reset your uh, Elder Gods and like your other stuff. Uh, then we got Natria Barkion, two copies of Barkion, two copies of Beast, and three Herald of the Arc Light. Very great stuff over here. And then over here, again, this is not my actual side deck. This is just uh, a card that I was originally playing, but then I actually decided to go for this guy over here because I find him to be much better. Now, this card does give you utility, like it lets you get rid of certain cards, but... I actually just rely on the uh, Erebus as well as the Caius to get rid of problematic cards because it doesn't happen too often against meta where someone's going to be like, yo, I throw up Gravity Bind or something like that. Like, it's it's not really that viable. But uh, anyways, uh, Safra over here is, in my opinion, the best ritual. I'm still looking for another ritual, guys, so if you guys have any suggestions for another ritual, uh, let me know. But th I love this card so much. All right, so let's go over this card's effect because I don't think a lot of people know about this card. So, uh, you ritual summon it with the Hymn of Light during the end phase. If this card was ritual summoned this turn or if a light monster was sent from the hand or deck to the grave route while this card was face upon the field, you can activate one of these effects. You can draw two cards then discard one card. Discard one random card from your opponent's hand or you get to add one light monster from your grave to your hand. We basically use that effect. You can only use one Sapphire Queen of Dragons effect per turn and only once that turn. It doesn't really matter, you only need one to really get use out of it to basically win the uh, game anyway. So uh, basically what happens guys is after you go for your play, it doesn't matter if you draw any of these cards because if you draw them then you still have the combo anyway. So if you guys don't know what you do, you summon, let me let me get rid of this. Okay, well we don't need to play this card anymore. Uh, this, this will be our field over here in the uh, side area so I can give you guys a brief explanation of your main concept of the deck. So a lot, there's a lot of draw power here. We get Pandiated, Deity, we got Tenacity to the deck then and then you know obviously add whatever you need to add. And then from there you can go ahead and go through your deck as quickly as possible. Same thing with the hand destructions. Getting cards in the graveyard isn't bad at all. You can go neg one, neg two in this and still pull off your combo. Uh, you can even one for one it and so you can still pull off your combo. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Because the way I'm orienting, 
around playing uh, the Erebus. I almost want to cut out Achaeus and play another one. You could opt to do that. This card's pretty important because it lets you re-add Zaborg. Uh, if you go minus with a Hand Destruction. The reason why I'm going with Hand Destruction, some people are like, wow, why are you playing Hand Destruction? It's a minus one. I understand that. But it doesn't matter because uh, you want to outspeed your opponent because keep in mind, guys, when you activate, uh, when you go for the Idea Eidos combo, you will not be able to Miracle Synchro Fusion turn one. Uh, unless there's some other crazy condition, but for the most part, you're not going to be able to do it because it's an Eidos' effect where um, you can't special summon from the extra deck. Let me read this. Uh, summon. Uh, it might be this one over here, the Ideas effect. Um, you cannot special summon from your extra deck. Here it is. Idea the Heaven Monarch. So this card over here will make it so you can't actually bring out this card. And this card is too important. Uh, not to just try to get out as quickly as possible because if you guys have played against magician performer pals You will know that that deck is really fast like you can lose to it like I said in like uh, you know one to two turns So you got to be on your feet You got to go real fast if you make this against pendulum decks Obviously you win the game because they can't even throw out their pendulum scales for the most part I know maybe they'll in the off chance they play like some random card exile force I don't know a uh, freaking a uh, DD warrior lady yeah okay but like for realistically you summon this and most of the time they just quit because like a pendulum deck can't function uh, if they can't complete their scales and so many of them rely on so many cards just to make the deck go as fast as possible that they simply just don't run an answer to this card because this negates all spells and all traps and it's not a once per turn uh, you, well I mean after you go further in your play to bring that this card out, you're gonna have enough cards to banish so don't worry about that it's totally fine so uh, yeah this is uh, the card that you want to make against majority of decks there's also this card Natria Gaia Streel over here uh, it's during either player's turn when a card or effect is activated that targets exactly one card in the field, meaning basically Castell 101. Uh, you could do uh, send one card from your hand to the graveyard and negate the activation if you do destroy it. So it just helps you deal with Castell because this card over here uh, can't deal with those. So if you're playing against you know some type of rank four spam deck, uh, you can l actually leave them with specific cards if you want to. Usually what I opt to do is I just go for uh, exterior and I just go ahead and get rid of all the things that would deal with exterior anyways. But I like this card simply because uh, it just it has more attack and sometimes if your opponent has something with large attack. That's also why I decided to put in BLS. It's not even for his amazing effect and it's pretty easy technically to get out BLS because it's just idea, you know, spam, you have your light, you have your darks and everything in the deck is light and dark and the entire, in the, yeah, everything. Um, these are also lights if you really need to, but for the most part, I mean, you can banish this card after you get its effect once. Like, you usually only need one of these effects, and at that point, you've won the game. But, uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and go over the basic combo now. I think I got distracted. Anyway, so you go, uh, you summon this. You got one for one, you got trade ins, you got upstarts. You get this a lot, okay? It's not very uncommon to go summon Eidos. Uh, and then you go ahead and summon, uh, oh, I'm sorry, you summon Idea and you bring out Eidos. Then you go ahead and activate Eidos' effect to get an additional normal summon. You then summon uh, Zaborg. You can do other variations with hand instructions with uh, Erebus to discard another card like Pain Deity. You can banish it, but this is the basic combo. Uh, and then uh, you tribute both for Zaborg. Zaborg will then trigger its effect, and then you will be able to... Uh, destroy a light monster, and then you get to get rid of 8 cards in your deck in your extra deck and eight cards in your opponent's extra deck. Then what you're going to do with that, uh, you are going to send three copies of Herald of Arclight. Again, if you draw any of these cards, then you don't have to put them in there. It's more advantageous for you to put back other things, so keep that in mind as well. And then, it, let's say let's say for whatever reason, like you only need two cards. This is the, These are the two cards you need for your combo, because this one's special summon from the deck. Unless you draw all three, then at that point, yeah, that kind of sucks. But Oh well. Uh, anyways, um, it doesn't matter because you can actually use Hand Destruction to get the cards out anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, anyways, so then you go ahead and these are the cards you usually want to send. Majority of the time, you want to send three copies of this. Uh, again, if your opponent happens to only have one card, yeah, don't send all three of them. Don't be a dingus. Uh, so yeah, you send three copies. Let's say they have three cards on field. You get to pop all three cards, you destroy your own card, you're left with nothing. If you are playing Mirror Match, you want to send three copies of this in your opponent's extra deck as well. So yeah, majority of the time you're going to send three of these, and then you're going to send three of these. Uh, unless, of course, you happen to have any one of these in your hand, then you don't have to send one. Then from there, you want to definitely put back at least one of these so you can reset an Elder God, at least. Um, it doesn't always have to be like that, but um, 
you usually want to do that. Sometimes you can do variations, again, depending on the scenario. Sometimes you don't even need to put them in there. You can go for a little bit slower of a play, but uh, obviously if you're going for a slower play, then you won't be able to go for the uh, Miracle Synchro Fusion. So uh, majority of the time, this is what I usually end up sending. This is the stuff that I send because this will let me make either one of these. And that's what I like with this, whereas before when I was playing the Arcanite, you could basically go for Arcanite, uh, Supreme, or you can go for the uh, Detree Exterior. They're both great options, but I like this because this lets you have options for both. Plus, it makes it so, uh, you know, you later on you can make either one of them again. So, it allows you to have that option to make double. Uh, but keep in mind, you do have to send all of them. So, the first time, you know, you might not necessarily need this. Uh, you might have a hand that already lets you reset. But, this is what you do. Then you go ahead and add three cards to your hand. The cards that you're going to add to your hand after you destroy three cards and then the, uh, the beast in the barkyard in the graveyard, okay? Let's just say, for example, that they are in the graveyard. You go ahead and add these three cards to your hand. You get the Hymn of Light. You go Safra. Uh, use it as material for the other Safra. So you activate this and you just get rid of this. And then this is out on your field. So your field's going to look like this. It's just going to have this one card. And then you can also use, um, if you want to, you can use the other effect. Uh, the um, little one, I think it's uh, this one where you just summon another uh, idea over here. So you can summon another idea, or if Original Monarch happens to be in the graveyard, you can also go for that play, and then you can set up with an Escalation. If you happen to have Escalation, which you should probably have because you've drawn through like so many cards in your deck, and in addition to that, you have Tenacity, which searches it out. You can just be like Tenacity, and then usually they don't want to give you Pandiety, because if they do, then that's fine, you can just get more advantage anyways. But uh, usually they'll give you uh, the escalation. Now they will know that it's there. Uh, if you want to, you can just immediately just go for it. Uh, that's totally fine too, just because it gives you so much advantage anyways. It doesn't matter. But you know, sometimes you know you want to hold on to it. So uh, after this play over here, uh, you'll be left with this. Maybe another small card, or you can go for this card. Uh, but the main thing that you want with Safra's effect is to be able to add one light monster from your graveyard to your hand. So you re-add back idea or you add back Zabor. Whatever combo part you need to reset the combo, you do it again. You get this effect twice and you basically win the game. It's very difficult for most decks to compete with that. And don't worry that, you know, like I said, the first time you're going to be sending uh, all of, like, this is what you send the first time. Let me do this real quick because this is actually kind of important. So the first time you're going to send these three, right? I'm sorry, these eight, these eight cards, specifically these eight. Uh, the next time that you send uh, your other cards, you will have to send the rest of them. And you might be wondering, oh crap, I can't use my Nature Exterior. No worries. Cyframe Lord Omega will let you reset these two cards. So you send these three, you get to reset these two, and then usually another Elder God, because you can uh, still tactically go for Zaborg Pop and then pop one more card after you've already popped. But like I said, you don't have to send all three uh, immediately if they don't have to have three cards. So if you're popping if you're popping three cards and you're getting a Safra and you've destroyed half their extra deck, most decks will just be like, all right, you win. <laughs> Uh, I've experienced that a lot, but yeah, like I said, uh, this is a really really strong deck have some fun with it guys If you have any ideas for another oh, I also want to mention real quick that the uh, hymn of light actually has a bonus effect uh, If a ritual monster you control would be destroyed by battle by card effect while this card is in your graveyard You can banish it instead so you get to actually keep this card for another turn So it's even better than it already was but uh, overall I like this card the most uh, it had protection, which I didn't really care too much about, but it was definitely, a, you know, it's always plus. But the main ability was able to getting that Zaborg back into my hand or that idea back into the hand, and then I can reset my combo and do it again, because once you do it twice, you win the game. And um, and then you, you're you're going through your deck really fast with the Miracle Synchro Fusions. Uh, like, you can even set this card, but like I said, I wanted to build this as fast as possible because you gotta exterior those Magician Perform Pal decks. They're just too fast. Any Pendulum deck is relatively quick in the game, so yeah, you just gotta get rid of those, and uh, you can uh, secure victory relatively quick. Anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for the deck, I'd love to know them in the comment section below. But what do you guys think about this deck? Uh, if you guys have seen it or uh, played it yourself, I'd love to know in the comment section below as well. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. It's been your boy, Will Smith, signing out.